Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Firefighting Simulator. The squad turn our emergency lights on and siren. There's a new update that came out, and we have a new mission we're going to be checking out today, and that is the plane crash. So there's a failed test flight that happened, and we need to uh, get on scene and see what it's all about for sure. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully you're having a great week so far. Good to be back once again after having a week off last week in California doing the flight simulation thing, which is kind of interesting that we're we did flight simulation, and now here we are responding to a plane crash. Not the... Uh, not the the thing that I really wanted to uh, be responding to, but hey, you know what? It's a new mission. Very cool. Get around this right here. Want to say thank you to all of you that watched the stream. Uh, those of you that donated to the Orbis Flying Eye Hospital and what a great cause and charity uh, that you all were a part of. I really do appreciate that greatly. Uh, there's one person got a shout out is definitely not only P Wolf Fam V, which is Scott, but also, man, I'm getting some. Getting some lag spikes here. Not sure what that's about. All right, we don't need our siren on here. Kill the siren. There you go. Yep. Uh, but also, Statui uh, was one that uh, donated a lot and single-handedly will be bringing back a certain series here on the channel based on their donations to the cause uh, and my uh, commitment to them that I would actually do that. So if you see something that uh, seems unexpected and you haven't seen it in a while, well, you can thank Statui for single-handedly being the one to bring it back. So <laughs> with that said, I'll let you guys think about it. Uh, we're getting on scene here. And from what I can tell, it is just off the beaten path. Cause that is right there, the uh, warehouse fire I did with the group. Oh, turn, baby, turn and burn. We're good. I'm going to take a shortcut. That looks like it was trying to go to the left, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I'll just go through the grass. Why not? Oh, here we go. Oh, all right. We got a... Water tower, perfect. We're gonna get our, come on, slam the brakes. Let's get that bonus, get that bonus, get out, get out. Copy that, I'll do a 360 check. All right, he's gonna do a 360 check. And yeah, we're gonna hook up the supply line right there. Oh my God, it's a 737, 800. <laughs> Literally the airplane we've been flying all last week in the sim. Yeah, that's a 738, for sure. You can see the winglets there and, and look at the length of the, the, attack line of the fuselage. All right, attack line is ready. We have trees on fire. All sorts of stuff here. It does not look good by any means. Okay. All right, he's going to get the attack lines going. We need a supply line. Where's the supply line, buddy? Right there. Yep, supply hose. Got it. And we're going to put that on the side here. Move the cap. Select that. Put that onto there. And we're just going to hook it up right here to this thing. I think that'll work out pretty darn good. If you ask me, there we go and connect that. All right, let's get our attack line hooked up here real fast. There's out of room on that side. That guy's just kind of standing there like a dummy. That's okay. Move the caps like that to there. All right, let's get a nozzle on this thing. All right, man, you ready to do this? Follow me. Yes, Come on. Yes, commander. Let's go. Is there victims? They have an ambulance here like there's victims, but I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, you're going you're gonna to follow me, buddy. You're just gonna, uh, yep. I've got quip, your back, boss. Quip and follow. I don't know what these guys are doing down here. Looks like they're doing a 360 check. Uh, number two is number one is already on the uh, on scene there, shooting some water down onto the airplane. So that's what we got going on here. Now this would be a very different thing in real life because you would de be dealing okay, with the uh, jet A fuel. Oh, we we have a person on the ground over here, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we do. I knew there was an ambulance here for a reason. Here, we need to drop this. Yeah, drop the tool and run, dude. Run. I can tell we have a person on the ground. I don't know if it's a passenger or... Oh, well, it's a test flight, so there's no passengers, but it could very well be a pilot. Hey, dude, you okay? I don't know how... They're unconscious, but Simo... Dude, that is a miracle. You live through this. That I can tell you right now. All right, hang in there, buddy. We're almost there. We're almost there. What is this dumb dumb doing besides nothing? Hold on. We'll get, we'll get him doing something in a second here's put that person right there okay we're good two you need to back, yeah you got my back get a get an attack line and do your job don't you steal mine don't you steal mine we got a race for it he's gonna try to steal mine isn't he i have a feeling no you don't hey nope cancel no stop what you're doing dude he's not he's not listening to me he's gonna pick it up nope give me give me you, mine boss. back nope Lead the way. yeah go get your own man like, seriously, go do something like you're supposed to do, which is actually go get 
You can't find a free attack line. It's freaking out. Okay, that's cool. So he can basically do nothing for us. Is that what it is? There's a person right over here. I see him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. All right. We carry this person out now. And yeah, like I said, the animations when you carry people are so slow. Dude, what we found this guy is an absolute miracle he's alive. Like he got ejected from the flight deck and he was just laying over there on the ground. That's just crazy. All right. I think this is the other pilot. I think it's the last person that we had to bring here. Let's see if it says that. Yep. Objective complete. We did it. Okay. We rescued all the victims and they're going to be okay. So it's going to be an absolute miracle from what I can see. All right. This guy stole mine. So I'm going to take it from him. Come here. Nope. Give me that. You, uh, you got to do yes, something sir. different. You got to go back and get a, an yes, extinguisher. Sir. It's just, it is what it is, bud. It is what it is. Okay. Here's where we got to hit the, the fire right here on these spots. So that guy's taking care of the force fire that was over there. He's still working on it. We're going to be working on the, the actual fuselage here. I think it's going to work out. Oh man, there's a bunch here. Let's get down Get our light on. So we see what we're doing here. Man, this is crazy. But really cool to see, you know, all these new missions and updates coming out for this game out of the woodwork. Because it wasn't doing it before, you know. Let's try to get the front of the airplane out first. All right, still working on the airplane here. I came over to the right side, and I'm trying to get this fire out. It's spreading like crazy, though, man. I'm really trying to keep it contained in this spot right here. Not so... Dude running through the fire like an idiot. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked out, yesterday I put a video out on the channel. Uh, my first landing in that 737 sim during world flight and uh, it's really cool i was landing in port moresby in Papua uh, new guinea and uh the person i was in there with was shane captain chemtrails uh he is a real 737 captain so a lot to learn there uh from that video and if you want longer form videos i'm gonna i'm gonna see what i can do as far as grabbing uh the various flights that we did for the events and uh, man, it was just so cool to learn crew resource management and and how to properly fly the airplane a little bit more, you know, in a simulated sense. I mean, there's, you know, a huge difference between the real thing and, and what we were doing, but it was really cool to to get that kind of direction from uh, an actual captain that flies the real thing. So you want to see what that's like? Uh, be sure to check out the video. It was a lot of fun to, uh, to be there last week and and man, I was like a sponge. I just sat there and it's like, I'm, I'm going to learn everything I can out of everybody because it was uh, a humbling experience. That's for certain. You know, I'm still working on the fire over here. Um, I got my flashlight on and everything else. And we're, we're starting to push the fire back a little bit back towards the wings here on the leading edge. But we got most of this out completely here. So that's good. I don't see any other people. And I didn't think that was going to be the case since we had already completed the objective anyway. Um, but when I was flying out of Ontario, California, a uh, very beautiful area right there with uh, Mount Baldy, I think it is, and you got Big Bear in the in the distance. Very neat. Um, one thing that was very strange was that at Ontario Airport they were playing Christmas music over the like over the speakers the whole time. So I flew Ontario to Las Vegas, Las Vegas to St. Louis, and I was like kind of taken aback that they were already playing Christmas music. Um, at the airport very strange weird went to las vegas and it was just show tunes and like classic you know frank sinatra and things like that that you would expect but a little too early on the christmas music i i, I this the it's very strange to me i don't know what's going on maybe this is a, a norm that i just haven't haven't seen in a while and that is you know the christmas music at this time of the year before thanksgiving early november you're playing christmas music it's kind of strange to me i thought that was a december thing I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think of that because or if you work at a place and they're already on Christmas music, I'd love to hear about it because I think it's dumb. I'm like, you know, it's time and place for everything. It's not, not Christmas yet. It's not making us feel like it's Christmas. So by the way, they did not allow us to take the T-Rex to this. Uh, there's only two options and you have to take, you know, you can't take the second uh, truck because that one doesn't even have nozzles on board it. You have to take one that has nozzles on it. So we had to take the first one, the Rosenbauer. Well, I forget what the name of it actually is, but very strange because it doesn't have enough nozzles for three people. But the T-Rex does. So kind of an oversight as far as that goes. I don't know why they're not letting us do that, but okay. Here's the landing gear section over here. You can see kind of interesting that the landing gear was down. So 
it was a test flight and I haven't seen the back. I haven't seen the uh, trailing edge yet. We'll see of the wing to see if they had the flaps down or what was going on with that. We're doing some investigation here, some NTSB stuff, but the gear was down. So it's either, you know, t it just took off and they couldn't get the gear up or whatever happened there. But uh, clearly it is down. It wasn't in the landing gear bay and unless it broke open, smashed open underneath there. I mean, that's possible too, but I do like the 3D model that they used here of the 7.3. It looks, looks pretty darn good. Dude, this wing is crazy on fire and it is spread so much. It is really hard to uh, try to keep it in one spot and it keeps wanting to fall towards me, which I'm trying to prevent from happening. That dude has got the fire extinguisher, but he can't do anything with it because the fire extinguisher is used for, you know, like chemicals and things like that. And there would be jet A fuel involved in this fire, but uh, he's not doing anything. So basically your, one of your crew members are going to be completely useless in this mission because they did not think about the amount of attack lines needed. Uh, speaking of, uh, you know, roasting here with, with fire and all that, you guys have any cool Thanksgiving plans doing the normal? I know a lot of people uh, do like deep fried turkeys and things like that. They have traditions year after year. One thing in our household is that we don't just leave Thanksgiving uh, for turkey. You know, like having a turkey dinner with stuffing and all the trimmings and all that stuff. That's, that's something that we kind of just do uh, throughout the year periodically. It doesn't have to always be to that specific occasion because let's face it, turkey and all that is amazing. So good. And you can usually get turkeys a lot cheaper when it's not during Thanksgiving. Okay, the fire is spread all the way to my left now. It is out of control. I might have to get my other guys over here to help me keep it from spreading. So let's do that. Get, get this one here and this one over here. Um, yeah, number three, I'm gonna have you go over here. Or nope, don't like it. Okay, cool. He's like, nope, I'm too far away. Can't get over there to you, but at least we'll get another guy over here to try to help me keep this thing back. Cause look where it's at. See where I cut it right there? Look, here's the nose. It's falling all the way over this way. Here he comes. All right, he's gonna help me right here. Push it back onto these trees so we get these trees out. I do wish they would have made this a little bit more realistic with the trees. Like, you know, they'd be charred up or something like that or have a different model if they catch on fire. That would have been kind of cool. It seems kind of strange that they're like in perfect condition whenever you put out the fire on them. All right, it's just getting easier. Well, not real. Look how far that thing spread back all the way to the cockpit. Where's number three at? Hey, number three. I need you, buddy. I need you over here, like now. I've got your back. All right, cool. Because things things are getting out of control. Look at this, all the way back over to the uh, the landing gear again. I need everybody that we can, because number two is absolutely worthless right now. So that's not good. Let's do global AI shortcut. Let's get everybody. I need everybody up on this hill right here, dude. Right here, right there. There you go. Sweet. Don't don't listen to me, <laughs> or don't follow me. I'm trying to put this out. Oh, number two's coming down here. I don't know what he's doing. Besides being a dumb, where are, we, where are you going, dude? Okay, you're gonna do that. All right, you do that. Let's try to get this in one spot here. Okay, he's just kind of following me around, doing nothing now. All right, number one, right here. Yes, sir. Yeah, you do that one. There you are. I know you're useless, but okay, at least that guy's getting the fire out yes, that sir. way. This thing is gonna completely circle us, and we're going to get killed if we don't keep an eye on yes, this. Sir. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop this real fast here. I'm gonna have him pick it up, and then um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna head back up to the truck and see if there's a problem between just the AI not doing what he's supposed to do, um, and if I can figure out how to get another line going here because we gotta have more than this. Do we have room for an attack line right here? Do we have more nozzles? We do. Like, what is this about? He just wouldn't do it, man. Like, that's that's the problem. I need an attack line. Oh, we're out of attack lines. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. He couldn't figure this out. Oh my God. Okay. Well, now we know. Why did you come up here? Oh, he's set to follow me. That's what, come on. Let's go back down, dude. Well, lesson learned there. We now know uh, what's going on with that. So, okay. Number two, go down there. Yes, sir. Yep. Let's get, let's get on this thing. We got to push this thing back. Cause look at this. 
absolutely crazy right now. Hey, yeah, you're supposed to be able to just use the AI menu to tell him to go pick up the, the hose, but he was acting like it, there wasn't one available. And I was like, okay, well then that's weird. The truck doesn't have enough equipment, but that wasn't the case at all. It was just sitting on the ground. He just couldn't do it. He wouldn't pick up the, the nozzle and attach it to the hose. He just wouldn't do it. Last mission time expired. Yeah, I'd say so, dude. I'd say so. This thing is crazy out of hand and we're trying to get a little bit of control on it here. And it's a good thing we got the victims out when we did because they would not be alive right now uh, if we dilly-dallied on that whole section. We've, we've got pushed the fire back to the radome here of the 737. So that's good at least. And the cockpit's completely back uh, in flames. But hey, better than nothing, right? Yeah, having this fourth line going is really helping us out now. We're able to push this back in there. there they're kind of going back and forth between the two fires right there. This guy is. I'm going to push this all the way back to where, yeah, we've almost got this out. we got the Ford fire pretty much cut in half now, and it's out on the right side of the whole flight deck and everything else. So I'm going to continue to push this this way towards the other guy, the green guy over there. You see him. He's still uh, pushing the fire this way. We're trying to cut it off so it won't spread. And it's so far so good. All right, that fire is out right there. Look at that, much better. We have that and he's working on it. He's keeping it over there right now. I'm gonna start working on this wing here. That guy's over there pushing it back that way. This is going to be a while before we get this one out. I can tell you that right now. All right, here's one of the engines right here. So that gives you an idea of how far we have come with this fire. I've got a guy on the right there. He's still pushing it back. And then you can see right there, it's still on fire from here, but I just want to push this back to the wings and I'm going to go all the way back over there and help them with those trees. And then once those are out, we're all going to attack this two guys on the right, two guys on the left and push back from there. I think that's going to be our best course of action. This has been very difficult. This fire keeps coming back on the engine the moment I get the, uh, the fire out. Yep. See right there. It just keeps flaming up. And maybe that's modeled that, you know, the fuel source is in the wings and all that where the fuel is. Uh, the fire source. So I'm wondering if that's the reason why we need to get those wings out first to prevent the spread. I'm, I'm like, I'm not really sure. We wouldn't be just using water on this fire at all. It would be a lot different situation in the real world, but oh my God, this fire spread is crazy annoying, man. It won't stop. It just won't stop. It keeps falling back on me repeatedly doing everything I can right now. Uh, I might need the other guy on this side. Yeah, he's over there messing around with that stuff, but I'd rather have him like right here. His engine is re-caught fire again. He's now putting water on it, which is helping a little bit. But it's just not enough right now. We're almost going to have to have all four of us attack one section at a time. Did they get those trees out yet? No, they did not. Okay. Well, this guy, don't die. Hang in there, buddy. I'm going to get another person over here for you. Uh, right over here, actually. I'm going to get number one right there. So he can come over here. I'm going to go help out number three with the trees. All right, man. How's it going over here? Yep. That good, hey? Yeah, I hear you. You got to get like up personal with this fire too. You cannot be hanging back very far. Otherwise, it will not go out that quick. See how far back he is? That's the reason why it's not going out immediately. You got to be up in it. And yeah, get the top of those trees. There you go. Man, it took him forever to get this fire out on this side. Now we can head back and help the other guys. Okay, they're working on those sides. Let's go over to the left side and we'll kind of wrap around but we need to get the airplane out completely first and that's exactly what we're going to do so number three head over here buddy yes, sir. yep let's start pushing this whole fire back although the one on the right seemed a lot worse than this side you know one thing i haven't gotten so far is the a when you walk into the fire so i'm getting close to the fire but i haven't had any uh, loss of health so far so that's good at least oh dude came out of nowhere but he's doing a good job. Like we're working together now, pushing this one back. And those two guys over there are doing the same. So it hasn't fallen back, which is great. So we're starting to get this thing under control by teamwork. You would not want to be in those seats. Look at those seats up there. That's a big no-no. That does not look like uh, that would have been a fun ride by any means. Uh, we've got this fire pushed back past this wing here now. So now it's just on top of the wing. I'm going to run back this way. I think we've got the fire out more than they do. You can see the fire still on that side uh, all the way up to where they are. But yeah, I'm going to help this guy out because once we put these fires out, he runs to a better position and we keep uh, 
We keep uh, making progress. Okay, so now we can see the flaps were down. So this airplane was configured for landing, it looks like. Those aren't, those aren't flaps five. Those are more like flaps 15, 25 right there. So the airplane was in a landing phase. So it was coming into the airport. Uh, and then I don't know what happened from there, but we can definitely make, uh, make out that the gear was down, the flaps were down. So it was landing configuration. And then something just went wrong from there. And I can't wait for that air, that uh, air crash investigation game to be finished. I'm very excited for that to release. I, I had a lot of fun in that game. And yes, I will be playing it again the moment that it is released. It just hasn't been released yet. So still waiting for that. They're letting me walk on the wing a little bit here. So, so far so good. But yeah, you can just see the fire spreading like crazy on top of the wing. It's so crazy. I put the fire out and it just respawns right there. So it's definitely using the fuel in the wings as the source of the fire. So that's interesting to note, but you can see how crazy that's getting out of hand. And, uh, whoa. Yeah. You have to like keep an eye on your back because it keeps spreading. I'm going to hop down right here. There we go. Get down, buddy. Get down. There we go. This is the source of this fire right here. that kept coming up through the wing because I couldn't get it out. And it was because of this right there. There we go. All right, cool. Almost got this out now. I have pushed the fire all the way back to this ring on the outside right here, as you can see. But now I'm going to come over here. They're all working on that side. Uh, I'm going to start putting these trees out and then kind of work myself back around that way. I think that's going to be the best best decision for now. I've made it all the way around. Look at this. I got it all the way out, all the way around the backside of the airplane here. And I can start to see the other guys. No wonder they haven't been able to take care of that wing because that guy left them and went over there. I started fighting the force fire part of it. So I'm going to put this fire out right here and then head back over there. I'm going to get everybody all hands on deck on that wing so we can get it out and start pushing the fire all the way back. All right, I'm going to come back around this way. You can see the flaps kind of retracted there when it hit the ground, so it popped it back up. I mean, the attention to detail with that is actually pretty impressive. I'm going to come up here on this because we have got to get on top of this wing to fight this a little bit better. And I'm i not been able to get up here. There we go. There we go. All right. Use the engine to get up on here because these angles are very difficult. Here's this guy. He's just absolutely destroyed by flames right now. And uh, yeah, he needed some help for sure. I'm going to help you out, buddy. All right. The wing on this side is out. All we have left is this fuselage that spread all the way back to the front. And then we just have that little bit back there that's in the back corner. That's all we got left. Yeah, this guy was pretty much useless. This green guy here, he just couldn't do it, man. And, and his other guys just abandoned him. Okay, we got it out. The whole airplane is out. Look at the hoses everywhere. Cannot believe we still have a great frame rate and stability in the game this far into it. Pretty insane how that is the case. This is just uh, smoke everywhere from, you know, it to uh, be, di you know, visible from a distance. But yeah, we're heading over here. This is the last of the fire. And this should be it right here, man. This should be it. We're going to be celebrating. We did it. Nope. It caught fire on the top again of the tree. <laughs> oh, there it is. Debriefing. We did it. My God. About an hour and 40 into this recording. And uh, I was not expected it to take this long, but check it out. There is the damage. That has been done. Looks like it came down over the water, prevented the water, and just slammed into this, uh, the bank of the, the lake right there. And yeah, I mean, the airplane's pretty much intact for the most part. Lots of, uh, lots of hoses. <laughs> Arrival time, two minutes, 11 seconds. Mission time, an hour 34. Water use, 4,514.25 liters, it looks like. We walked 4,371. 0.31 meters rescued two victims the two pilots driving time fast 500 mission time slow 50 challenge bro bonus was 1500 there you go failed test flight is completed let me know what you thought of it in the comments below enjoy the rest of your evening i will see you guys next time take care